Most called strikes below the zone since 2017. Far and away, Aaron Judge, 181. It almost feels like umpires, because of the size of his frame, still haven't quite figured out his strike zone as it relates to other players. I think you're 100% right. We saw Giancarlo Stanton was on that list. So you have Judge at 6'6", you have Stanton at 6'7". I've talked to David Cohn about this, and David Cohn has studied that strike zone throughout his time as a pitcher and now as an announcer. And I stole a little bit of what he had told me when I said earlier that sometimes umpires are just kind of conditioned to call a strike. What is the average major league player? I don't know. I'm guessing. Is he 6'2"? Is he 6'1", 6'3"? You've got a guy who's 6'6". Six, six. That pitch is not a strike. And if you're the Yankee hierarchy, you're watching that game today and saying there's absolutely no way that is a strike. So I'm not surprised to see that judge is leading on that graphic but it has to be frustrating for him because you can't give in if you're a judge one of his strengths is his plate discipline he doesn't want to start swinging at pitches that are out of the zone so if you're the yankees perhaps you contact major league baseball perhaps you send a video and say listen you need to alert your umpires you have to take a closer look when judge and stanton are at the plate yeah so frustration for judge however a win for the yankees eight to four let's hear what judge has to say about it Seemed like you were as animated as you've ever been in, in talking to the home plate umpire uh, about some balls and strike calls. It just a frustrating day for you with what was going on back there. Yeah, anytime you strike out four times, it's not a it's not a great day. It's pretty frustrating, you know. So I just um, just had a couple things to say and just a couple questions to ask, and that's it. You know, it's you, know, you can't really argue too many times when you know if you get if you, if you feel like you get. You know, someone misses a call and also the next pitch you swing at and it's in the dirt, you really don't have a, you know, a leg to stand on or anything like that. So there was a couple times I just wanted to, you know, just ask them a couple things. That was it. Then just move on. Aaron, what's your philosophy on that? Some guys are more animated than others when they talk to umpires calling balls and strikes. You very rarely say anything. Why is that? There's no need. You know, there's no need to really, you know, if, you know, if you think it's a ball and they call it a strike and you strike out or something, you know, if you sit up there and argue and make a scene, it's just going to make it worse on yourself, you know. So it's like either ask and just get my point across and you move on. And the game's not going to stop just because you strike out on the pitch he thinks a ball, you know. So you just got to ask some questions, just, you know, voice your opinion, then you move on. From a hitting standpoint, what most impresses you about Glaber when he's in the box? Well, the fact that he can use the whole field and use it with power, you know, especially a guy that, you know, plays second at shortstop for him to come up and, you know, hit homers to left field and all of a sudden he's spraying doubles on the right field line and it's just, uh, it's impressive what he can do at such a young age, man. He's got a, you know, great approach at the plate, you know, he, you know, he goes up there with a the plan. You don't see him up there, you know, too many times just free swinging. He usually comes up there with a plan, a pitch he's in an attack and he usually comes away with a pretty good, pretty good at bat. Aaron, you seem very locked in during spring training. Is there any difference here in the regular season? No, I still feel locked in. You know, I feel like I'm seeing the pitches well, and you know, fouled off a couple, you know, pitches I should have done damage with. You know, my first at bat line went right at the second baseman, and it's that's just baseball. You know, it's it's just how it goes. You know, sometimes you know those hits fall, and sometimes they don't. So it's just, you know, I'm feeling good up there, and you just got to make sure just keep that rolling.